Multi-domain segment routing is the discussion of this video which makes segment routing traffic engineering possible in multi-domain networks. Also, we will see how and why new PC component or pass computation element is used to calculate traffic engineering dynamic pass instead of source PE routers. As you can see in the picture, we have a network with two domains and isolated ISIS process is running in each domain. The routers in each domain only know the topology of their own domain. Now the question arises, how is it possible to find dynamic segment routing traffic engineering paths between PE routers when the routers don't know or don't see the entire topology of the network. This is exactly the question that we want to answer in this section. There are different components which help us to answer this question. First, BGP VPN V4 address family which advertise customer routes between PE routers and through route reflector which is shown here by red color. Make this to happen, route reflectors in two domains must be able to see each other. To make route reflectors in two domains to reach each other, we create a BGP IPv4 address family between ASPR routers in two domains, shown here by black color, the only address that is advertised between two domains and through BGP IP for address family is the IP address of route reflector routers. What is probably new to us is the new BGP address family called link state address family which advertises link state information or topology information but through BGP protocol which only ISIS and OSPF could possibly already do. In this network, in order to make the topology of each domain known to another domain, the topology of each domain is advertised to another domain through route reflector and BGP link state address family. In each domain, at least one router is responsible to distribute ISIS or OSPF topology information to BGP protocol. Here I've choose P routers in each domain to do this, but it can be any router in the domain. Here with purple color, it is shown that P routers advertise the topology information to route reflector through BGP link state address family. Route reflector advertises this information between domains. Now at least one router in addition to route reflector in each domain knows the topology of the both domains. Don't forget that the router that knows the topology of both domains can be a different router than PE routers. So the question is how PE routers can calculate dynamic traffic engineering paths in segment routing network when they don't know the topology information of the network. So here new PC component comes to play. Topology information must also be made known to the PC router which is responsible for dynamic pass calculation instead of P rotors. P rotors as PCC or pass computation client request PCE or pass computation element with PCEP protocol to find a dynamic pass when they receive a route with a specific color that matches an audience policy in the same PE routers. PCE 
also inform PCC of any topology changes with new path information. The communication between PCC and PCE is shown here with green color, which is PCEP or path computation element protocol. Here, since I have the topology information of both domain in P rotors, I don't actually need a PC component, the path can be calculated by PC rotor itself, but one goal of this video was to introduce you the new PCE component in segment routing technology. Another component that is shown between ASBR is the configuration of BGP egress engineering. It creates an adjacency SID for the links between ASPR1 and ASPR2. It is not generated by OSPF or ISIS protocol since these protocols are not enabled in this link. This is required to generate adjacency SID for the links between ASPR routers so that the source PE routers or PC can choose which link to use between domains if there are more than one link or one path between domains. To make video not too long, in the next section we will see how segment routing in multi-domain network is implemented.